with City against United go head to head on Sunday with United hosting City City have won three titles in a row something only United have managed before in the Premier League era twice Pep's class of 23-24 are now bidding to make history as they look to win a record fourth successive title uh, what about that um, unbelievable Ray? You know, they could, they could do it again this year. They, they could. could do all three. Well, they're they? going to be big favourites again, aren't they? Um, and they're a top side. They can. That's why it was a big win for Arsenal to to get a result against City. But they, City can go on a run and win 12 in a row, no problem. Yeah. And that's why they're so dangerous. Haaland scoring in a week as well, which is a, a bonus because well, he's that, been a little bit, bit off it. Well, by the way, this is... And he's still against, one of the top goal scorers. Yeah, against young boys. And Pep was delighted, especially with the pitch. Let's hear from Pep. Yeah, I had time to Old Trafford, of course, in a normal game. So, in in Premier League, you have 87 points to play. Here, we had just nine points. You have, an, you know, now, yeah, now we have nine, nine, nine points to play. So, it's less. So, in Champions League, we cannot miss chances. We cannot miss opportunities. We are not, not back. So, of course, Derby is important. United have a lot of confidence after the victory from, from yesterday. And, of course, always a staff in Old Trafford. So... But we have time to prepare and we're going to prepare as best as possible. Well, the way form is at the moment, you've you got to fancy City strong, haven't you? But, yeah. Ray, we were trying to mix combined the teams 11. up. Combined 11. It's impossible, It's mate. really difficult. Uh, at, at this, I, I wonder the if the listeners can help us. Well, the, the way they're playing at the moment, City, and the way United are playing, it's only Rashford, you'd think. Rashford, I think, uh, would maybe get in a City side. Maybe. But maybe. But. Ake, Ake's done brilliant for a left-back. Maybe Luke Shaw, when he's 100% fit. Uh, I think he's really improved this season and you know it will be potentially for England as well sure uh, but other than that it's really difficult you know if De Bruyne is fit you've got to have him in your side haven't you Harland oh, gotcha. you've got to have him in your side you've got Rodri in midfield you've got to have him in Foden, your side who's Foden who's you've got batting United's Bernardo midfield Silva, and Foden that Silva. Uh, you've got Grealish you know you've got so many top players haven't they Man City so that's why they're going to be the ones to beat still I'm sure Liverpool uh, Arsenal always looking at City can we can we beat Whoever comes above City this season will win the league. Simple as yeah. that. I can't see him being third place. Some people say it's a one-horse race again. I'm not so sure about that. Um, but well, Liverpool will have a pl- part to play. Yeah. I think Arsenal certainly will have a part and to Tottenham play. Tottenham are having a go. Tottenham Whether are having Tottenham a go. can keep it going. Yeah. I, I think Tottenham squad's a problem. If they were to lose a Son, but sur- to lose surely, a Madison. But surely now, uh, Daniel Levy knows he's got the right manager in place. So you, you when it comes so? to transfer window, he's got to back the manager now. Mm. They're in a good position, Spurs. It's a, what an opportunity for Spurs to say, right, let's go and try and get another couple of players in in that transfer window and try and keep it going. And you wouldn't put it apart. Look, Tottenham could have a great season. Look at Leicester back in the day. The most important thing, like Leicester was, they kept everybody fit out, didn't they? Yeah. Bardi wasn't out for long periods when they, they won the league. You had players who well, played Well, I said Mahrez. it before, Ray, against Fulham, when Song came off, Madison came off, Tottenham just suddenly started, you know, it dipped, it dipped the urgency. But he seems to do that every game now. No, he does, but I don't think, what happens if he doesn't start with them? What happens if they get injured? If a Madison gets injured or a Song gets injured, what what happens then? It's working at the moment. It's when Mm. you go behind and they're chasing the game, they can't afford to take Son and Madison off. Yeah. Simple as that. But um, United, I, I just, I don't know what's wrong with Manchester United. I don't think there's togetherness. I don't think they're playing as a solid unit together. I think there's too many bits and problems behind the scenes. But again, it's a derby L. Oh, and, God, yeah. And, and, and all the fun and goes they've out done the it window. before. They've done it before. Got Absolutely. Results. So Manchester United, it, it could be the start of their season. If they can somehow get a result, which I, I, I can't see it myself, but... You know, you never know on the on the day. It only takes two or three players who have a poor game for Man City, and that Man United play every single player. Yeah, they really had a hope goes. as well. So, United fans, let's ask: Have you any hope uh, for Sunday? Can you can you beat City? What, what player would you have in the all combined team? Yeah, I'm well, trying to get a few in there because it's th- yeah. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. We're struggling to get a United player in. I'm sorry. Or Texas eight ten eighty nine. We're taking your calls ahead of the game. Liverpool, former Liverpool midfielder Danny Murphy, interesting what Danny had to say said that recent results they're only just papering over the cracks at Manchester United How many times Ten Hag has to make substitutions at half time because he got the he got the tactics or the personnel wrong is worrying on, a, on the flip side to that, the fact he's able to adapt quickly and, and sees it and does something about it and doesn't mind correcting a mistake so early, which is fine Mourinho was brilliant at it in his early tenure at Chelsea so I don't, it's not it's not a big thing, but the, the fact is that most games United play against half decent opposition, 
they just look too easy to play against and, and concede too many chances. He's, he's go, let me focus on Ten Hag. It's very difficult to try and get behind the eyes, the mind of Ten Hag. Mm. You know, his expression, you don't really know if he's worried, if he's enjoying it. Um, you, whereas you look at Pep, Pep's bubbly. He can be angry as well. Look at Klopp, Klopp as well. Mm. Ten Hag's different. He's so serious all the time. Well, some managers, not every manager's the same now, aren't they? You, you'll have managers really having a go at people. You have calm managers. And there's no right or wrong way to be a manager. It's how you get the results, simple as that. And Ten Hag, it has been a, a real tough season so far for him. Um, you know, pleased for him in, in the week. That was a big result for him uh, to, to win in the Champions League. Good save by the keeper for penalty. Nearly, nearly dropped points again in the Champions yeah. League, which would be disastrous at yeah. Old Trafford. So I bet they got the job done. Um, but it, they have been indifferent this season. You don't know what sort of side they're going to turn up and... Uh, there have been too many things going wrong with Manchester United, not just on the field, off the field as well, with the takeover and all that sort of stuff. Sancho scenario has not helped. So, yeah, uh, it, I, I don't know where Manchester United will end up at the end of the season. Where, where do you see him, Al? Top four's going to be difficult, United, isn't it? No, I don't see top four, no. No, not no. now. But the way the form's go, going, you've got teams like top Villa. Top six, yeah, but teams not like four. Villa are flying, aren't they? Yeah. You know, why they're Brighton, playing? Brighton, Brighton, keep it going. And Newcastle? Yeah, Newcastle. Spurs, of so I, I think it's been difficult Arsenal, for Manchester United. I Liverpool. Had him, yeah, I can't see it. At the start of the season, I had him in my top four, in the top four. But now, you know, I'm sure Manchester United fans will be hoping that still happens. But it's uh, it's just the form. They're not, they're not playing well at the moment, are they? Well, United have got supporters clubs everywhere. We're heading to the reservation now, out Midwest. And <laughs> a United fan, Shea-Anne's on the line. Shea-Anne, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Great morning. name, by the way. How do you pronounce it, Shea-Anne? Uh, Cheyenne. 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 Oh. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. What, do your dad like westerns or something? Or what? Uh, so basically, he read a lot of American Indian books in, uh, yeah. in South Africa. And yeah, so that's where I got it from. Brilliant. Right. What about chances of United got? Um, to be honest with you, I don't think anything at the moment. Um, the biggest concern is Rashford. And, you know, I'm, I've been a Man United fan for a very, very long time. Um, and I think he's just too inconsistent to be part of the Man City team. Would you, would, Shane, would you, would you agree that Marcus seems to play with more freedom and a smile on his face in an England shot than he is at the moment in a United shot? A hundred percent, and that's probably got down to things with behind the scenes at the club um, and things like that. I just don't, I just don't see him in a, in a Man United shirt. And honestly, I would be, I would be happy if they, to be honest if they sold him. To be fair, what do you make of um, Ten Hag? Are you a big fan of Ten Hag, or do you? Think there's problems behind the scenes. Um, the thing is with Ten Hag, I was a big fan when he came through because he was using a whole uh, like obviously used youngsters at Ajax. Um, and when he came through to United, he just stopped using youngsters and started buying like middle-aged players. And I was just like, you've got the likes that you had the likes of James Garner, you've got you had Tanis Chong, you had um, Alexander uh, Garnacho, but they just don't seem to be getting into the team, which 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 astounds me because Anthony's been very poor Garnacho has been performing and I just don't understand it mm. well sometimes form goes out the window uh, Sheehan so we'll see it's been, it's been proven in the past with United City but I'm sure every neutral all points to City a City every, win every neutral really. wants Man United to win don't they yeah of course they do too or try, yeah mm. they do Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil Thursday and Friday morning 6 till 10 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport